Now, you spoke about 529 plans earlier, and um, I'm sure you'd be in a much better position to explain than I would what makes these kind of savings plans so valuable to people saving for college from a tax standpoint, because they're a little more powerful than just a normal savings account. Absolutely. So 529s are really a powerhouse for college savings and not just for college savings, but also for financial aid. The way a 529 works, so it's a dedicated college savings account. Um, you make contributions with after-tax dollars and then that the money that you put in the account grows tax free. And then as long as it's used for qualified higher education expenses, which is tuition, fees, room and board, books, supplies, computer, pretty long list, um, then those distributions are, are tax free. So if you think, of, you know, if you compare that to, say, using a regular taxable investment account where you might invest the same way, you're still, you're going to be paying capital gains and income taxes on, um, on the distributions that you take out. So your money is worth quite a bit more when you have it in the 529 versus in, versus in a taxable account. So let's well, say, especially for example, after 18 years of appreciation, right? That really right. adds up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, basically a hundred percent of the money in your account is available for college versus, you know, 75 to 80% net of taxes that's available in, in a taxable, in a taxable account. The other great thing about 529s is many states offer a state tax um, deduction or credit for your contributions. So it's a way to just make your money go a little, a little further. So, you know, that may be a couple hundred dollars every year, but a couple hundred dollars times 18 years. And actually, you can continue contributing through college and taking the tax credit or deduction through through college. So you may be able to get, you know, 21, 22 years worth of of tax benefits for your contributions. Um, that's, you know, that's starting to be be real, real money. Um, at, at that point. The other thing with 529s is they're great for financial aid because of the recent changes to the FAFSA. So it used to be that when you filed the FAFSA, so there are four elements to the to how the FAFSA calculates your ability to pay for college. It's the parents' income and assets and the students' income and assets. And it used to be that the parents had to report all of their 529s for all of their kids. So let's say you have three kids and each one has $20,000 in a 529, that used to be $60,000 of assets on the FAFSA. Now, with the changes this year that came to the FAFSA, you only report your the, the student whose FAFSA it is, is 529 account balance. So in that same family, instead of reporting $60,000 worth of 529s, now it's only $20,000 worth. So it's a way to shield additional dollars from, um, from inclusion in, in the financial aid formulas as well.